Now, also associated with the student government is the Kennedy Political Union. This is the department of the student government responsible for bringing all of our great speakers to campus. Can any of you tell me who came to campus today? That's right. The president of the United States did not come because of the Kennedy Political Union. I just thought it was a cool tie-in. You may also decide to join sub? No. We... Yes, it is cool. But what we mean is the Student Union Board, and what they do is they bring about Miley Cyrus' brother in Metro Station. We bring Metro Station again. We have Josh Kelly. We had Wale here. Um, yeah, Wale. DC chilling. I love that. Um, we also have Three Six Mafia and a bunch of other reporters. And finally, we also buy the rights of DVDs before they come out. Um, wait, not buy the rights of DVDs. Buy the rights of movies before they come on, on DVDs, and we were the first university to show Dark Knight legally. And <laughs> to find out more information about the student government and to find out more information on specific department positions, you can go to join.ausg.org or main site ausg.org. That's also where you can view my fireside chats, which I am releasing every two weeks if you're interested. <laughs> So if politics isn't your thing, there's always RHA. You're such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> there's always Great a representative of all association. Um, basically, you represent the hall you live in. There's six elected officials per hall. Um, it helps enhance advocacy. They have leadership workshops, as well as different programming. They do everything from the diversible to painting everyone's faces for basketball games. And you can get involved as early as the fall. You may also decide to be diverse, like this. Yes. <laughs> the, office, 
See? Fire! <laughs> now, the Office of Multicultural Affairs is located in the, on the second floor of the Mary Graydon Center, room 204. <laughs> Oh, keep going. Okay. Um, they deal with a lot of the policy and programming associated with, with multicultural affairs, such as a lot of our heritage months are run through this office. Similar to this is the International Student and Scholar Services. This sort of also does the multicultural aspect, but from the international student perspective. So we have uh, TOP, the Intercultural Discussion Group, as well as Road Trip USA, which takes international students on a road trip through the USA. Uh, there are also several different programs run through the School of International Service, and remember to check today at AU for events that pop up. You can also choose to be artsy, like this little guy. <laughs> Maybe not. You can choose to sing here. We have a great choir program here. Um, there's AU Chorus, AU Chamber Singers, AU Gospel Singers. We have opera workshops. And also, for those who have sang before, you can also choose to try out their, um, our a cappella groups. Um, we have an all male, all female, and a co ed. And they perform a lot, and they're extremely popular here. Um, the female group actually was on the Ben's Fold CD. Like, yeah. Yes, I know that. I just pulled that one out. <laughs> it's true, though. Check that out. You, know, you may also decide to act, and there's plenty of opportunities to do that on campus. Uh, we have several different theater groups, main stage studio, there's also several student groups, such as AU Players, Room Mechanicals, and the fantastic improv group that is Mission Improv, which Thomas is also a part of. You can also try to dance like Nate, or not, dance for real. There's a dance informal showcase um, that happens both semesters, and if you've danced before, again, there's an AU Spirit dance team, and they compete in nationals as well as uh, perform in every halftime show for our basketball team. Uh, we have student groups like AU Emotion, Ballroom Dance, that's not Ballroom Dance I Know, it's actually we call Bonger Dancing, and it's pretty awesome. Next. You may also decide to play. What I mean by that is, of course, playing an instrument. Uh, there are several instrumental groups on campus. There's a symphony orchestra, wind ensemble, chamber players, and the pep band. Then there's also several jazz-based groups, such as the ensemble, the workshop, and the combo. And yes, all of this can be found in one place, the Captain Art Center. It's beautiful. Again. And again. One last time. <laughs> um, I thought we had one more. If you're looking for other opportunities to see performances, you can also check out the AU Greenberg Theater, which is located on this map in Tenley Town. Um, they host prof uh, more professional style performances throughout the year. Uh, students usually get discounts, and you should check their uh, website for more information. There's also the AU Museum, which is, where is it located? In Cats and Art Center, which is the second largest private museum, aside from the White House. Right. Yeah, you guys can know that. And basically they have uh, everything from you know art to uh, art, and uh, it changes every month, because you see that man, he's not there anymore. <laughs> oh, and another fun fact is they also have permanent stuff, like um, those windows are always there. And, uh, <laughs> and it's free for all students but not free for other people, so that rocks for us and that sucks for them. <laughs> you may also decide to be somewhere else. Now there are two ways to do this, this being the first. <laughs> well, we do have a better idea. Um, you can check out the AU Broad office, which is located just past the Letson Anderson Hall. And the AU Broad program, which has over 100 programs in over 30 different countries, will allow you to study abroad for a semester, a summer, or a full year with awards of up to $5,000. So the cool thing about that is you may choose to hang out in China, get up close and personal with the elephants, or see a panda. Aww. Aww. You can also choose to be a hero. Nick, what do you mean by being a hero? <laughs> Chris, I mean this. <laughs> He's had a sad life. <laughs> so what he really means is you can join the Center for Community Engagement and Service, which is located in MDC 273. Um, since 06, they've accumulated well over 250,000 hours and arises every single day. Um, 
if you're really into certain